When you get into crowdfunding and you make a lot of money, there are certain standards you need to uphold in your shipping process, in your communications process with backers, in the quality of book you produce. And it matters. It really does. We're trying to get there ourselves. We've been putting out book after book for year after year. I'm one of the most reliable crowdfunders in the comic book industry. I think this is my 13th or 14th campaign. We fulfilled all of our others with happy customers, with great books. And when we push the boundaries, if we ever got to the point where we had the money Sean Gordon Murphy was making for these campaigns, oh my gosh, you guys would have the writs of comic books delivered to you. So we're trying to get there. This is our new campaign, A High School Girl in the Crusades. It's by me and my artist friend, The Quaff, and we are doing a fun manga isekai book. And this is for you. Check it out today. We are on Indiegogo. That link is in the description below. All right. Sean Gordon Murphy of DC Comics is under fire. I know it says Jeffrey Martin on the campaign here, but this is really Sean Gordon Murphy's book. It's his baby. He went on to Indiegogo uh, to promote this years ago. He got a lot of help from the group Comicsgate, even though he disavowed everybody in Comicsgate and was really an asshole to everybody in that regard. I'll get into that. But here it is, $266,936 from 3,248 backers. Now, a large part of the reason he has this kind of success is because he's worked on the Batman property. And of course, Batman is like the, one of the only books in the mainstream comic industry that continues to sell over and over and over again. So he crushed it through that, made a ton of money. He got concerned, trolled by SJWs a bunch, made his old disavow statement, and people backed him anyway. Uh, it's a testament to the Batman property and just how powerful the brand can be for people to buy stuff. Drives me crazy. I didn't back it, of course, because I don't back stuff from people who hate me, but a lot of people did. All right. So Sean Gordon Murphy, again, came out with this. A lot of people are pushing into crowdfunding in the mainstream. We're seeing people like uh, uh, Scott Snyder do it also. We're, we're seeing people like Jimmy Palmiotti. A lot of people are getting into crowdfunding because of the success that Ethan Van Skyver has had on the crowdfunding platform, and everybody wants a piece of that pie. It worked in Sean Gordon Murphy's instance, and he got his book done. He got it out. It is, it is finally getting to backers' hands as of this point. And unfortunately, he did a poor job in the execution when he put this out there. There's a lot of angry comments from his backers as you go through here. If you look at it, uh, my hardcover ride in good enough condition, the book High Quality Production, this person was okay with it. But he says... Uh, the thank you pages, uh, his name was omitted from the thank you pages, even though he paid for that. He says it's pretty disappointing. Uh, here we go. There's a couple others. And I posted pics on my Twitter account on January 8th. Haven't received a reply. I'd like a replacement. Uh, this is from Jacob Roth, who said that he had damaged books show up because the books were not packaged right. And I'll show you what the books are packaged like in a second. It's kind of crazy that somebody who got $266,000 would package books this poorly. It doesn't make any sense. And he says he still hasn't got it. Dylan here, I don't know who these people are at all, uh, says, disappointed, late campaign, late fulfillment, and a dented book on top of it all. Lots of damaged books. And apparently he charged $15 shipping. Now, I charged $10 shipping for mine. It does cost about that for the materials and postage to be able to do it. Uh, but, you know, at this rate, 15 that's tough, especially when they're cheaping out on the materials. And again, I'll show you that in a second. Hope the huge profits were worth all the damaged books that people will be receiving. I'm a huge fan of Sean's, but this will make it difficult for me to back a future campaign of his. Oh, boy. Uh, corner ding rattled around the box. It needed bubble wrap, protect it, and immobilize it. This is 101, but oh well. Uh, any damage to the box during shipment doesn't damage the book. Foolish and annoying. I look forward to reading it. For $15 shipping, it should have been protected better. Uh, another one. I work in shipping for my day job, and I was charged. I, I, and what I was charged was reasonable. And it's a little high, but it's okay. Uh, but what I received for packaging was woeful. Where did the extra money for shipping and handling go? Yeah, it is what it is. Here's Pixel Trader. Educate your fulfillment team. Check out a book from Common America Crew. They do a great job. 
if you want a masterclass on how to properly package and ship a campaign. No bag, no board, dropped loose in the box is not the way. Grateful my book was only slightly damaged during shipping. It could have been much, much worse. The comments keep going like that all the way down the line. And when you have, a, again, a $266,000 campaign with 3,000 plus backers, it's just dismal. Uh, people should be supporting the indies who actually do things right rather than these comic pros who want to make a quick buck uh, from DC Comics. It's really upsetting. What can you do? Uh, anyway, uh, Pixel Trader posted his deal. And I'm trying to pull that up right now. My computer does this sometimes. It's a lot of fun. And uh, the packaging is pretty dismal. We'll see what happens when this actually loads in a second. Now, as this isn't loading, I'll talk about Sean Gordon Murphy's anti-comics gate stance, which he's had in the past. The problem is Sean Gordon Murphy went out there and pulled a SJW cowtail also. He said that uh, people he was working with were racist, sexist, homophobic in order to disavow and keep his job in the mainstream industry. It's really sad to watch that kind of behavior uh, from somebody in the pros, but I'm also not uh, surprised by it in this juncture. Now, here's Pixel Trader's uh, deal. So you see the damaged book right here. He's got a corner ding uh, that's pretty bad. I mean, this is something I'd replace the book immediately every time. But he put it in a box like this with a little piece of paper and just the book. You see no bag or board for the book, uh, nothing like that. Kind of really odd. What happens when I buy books from Amazon, they come like this. Amazon has cheap, awful packaging and uh, really gives a lot of damaged books all the time. And you just accept it because it's Amazon. It sucks. Those jerks. Uh, it's really pretty terrible that people have come to accept this level of crap customer service from such a giant company. But when somebody gets a crowdfund, and again, Amazon charges free shipping with my Prime membership. So I get it. It's free. $15 shipping for this is out of control. This is 100% crazy. I could never imagine putting a book out like this. Now, what I do is I always put my book in a bag and board first. This, of course, makes it sturdy on the back. It protects it from the elements because, like, if a postman leaves this box outside, what's going to happen here in the wintertime? It's going to get wet. It's going to get destroyed. It's going to be worse than just a corner ding here. He's lucky that didn't happen in that instance. So when you put it in a bag and board, it immediately protects it with a plastic covering, which is very useful. And then there's a, a thing called Gemini mailers. And these Gemini mailers actually are built for books. Uh, they actually protect the comic books a lot better than a box. So it's it makes it so it doesn't slide around like you're going to have in a box like this. But if you do put it in a box like this, you can put the packaging material like that paper kind of around the book so it doesn't slide around in it or some bubble wrap around it so it doesn't slide around in it, something like that. I've seen companies do that. It works out really well. It would actually be better just to put it in one of those bubble mailer envelopes with a bag and board on it because then the bag and board protect it and then it's not sliding around. You're unlikely to have damage in a bubble mailer compared to this sort of packaging. Really amateur stuff and something you wouldn't expect from a campaign of this level. Well, the backers are outraged. The people are outraged. It is a train wreck of a campaign. It's very sad what Sean Gordon Murphy has done, and he's going to lose a lot of customers on the next go-around because of this dismal error in his campaign funding. This is why you support indie books from people who don't hate you. This is why you support indie books from people who actually care about comic books and not just making a quick buck. Comicsgate is a difference. We really care about the customer. We care about customer service. If we see something where somebody's not happy with a book or something like that, we're immediately on it because we're here to service you. We're here to make these books to service you. We're not trying to be a part of the mainstream that's just trying to put a middle finger at you. We're trying to do something different, wholesome, and better. I hope that Sean Gordon Murphy and others learn from this experience, but from what I've seen on the internet, these people never learn. They always just double down. They always push harder. They always go for that quick scam buck or some quick gimmick. It's really sad to watch every single time. And I hope that my little contribution to the internet here makes a difference. We'll see. All right. I appreciate everybody for watching the video. It's sad again that this is happening, but what do you expect from somebody who has already virtue signaled that they don't hate you or they don't like you or respect you rather? <sighs> Hit that like and subscribe button. Back my book, A High School Girl in the Crusades today. That link is in the description below. Beautiful book. You're going to love it. I promise you.
and I appreciate your support for my campaign and all the YouTube stuff. You guys are the best. We'll talk to you soon.